Good morning, everybody. How are you? It is Monday. Welcome to Motivation Monday. Um, I want to talk to you today about patience. Now, patience can be very motivating or it could be a tinge defeating. It really depends. I think it's motivating. Now, I follow Gary V. I know he's a lot younger than I am, but he has amazing ideas and I've learned so much from him about doing my business. And he always hammers patience. Now, I consider myself a patient person, but I'm sure if you ask any on my team, anybody on my team at my full-time job, they would tell you not too much. So over the weekend, I really had to reflect because it seems like I gain traction, then I lose traction. And it's a lot like, you know, you're losing weight. You try to lose weight, you lose 10 pounds, then you kind of get on a, um, I forget what you call it, but you stop. And then you start losing weight again, and then you stop. You know, it's like anything in life. You have to work for it. The universe wants to make sure you really want it. So the universe is like, you know, we're, we're going to give you good success. You know, beginner's luck, the law of beginner's luck, there is such a thing. So you know you're on the right trail. You know, when you start something new and things really start happening and popping for you, you know you're, you're on the right trail. But the universe still wants to make sure, and wants to make sure that you know you're on the right trail. So it throws obstacles. And I understand that. But sometimes it's hard. You know, you think you've done all the right things and you hear crickets chirping. You know, you think, okay, I got this great program, nobody wants it. You know, I do this great coaching, nobody really wants it. I write a book, it's doing well, but it, you know, it's in, in the little, it's been out a little over probably I think 40 days and it's not a New York Times bestseller yet. But I realized, because I look at what I do in my day job and I've been there 20 years. I started that organization, obviously, from scratch. There was five of us. We had nothing. We had a desk, a chair, a pencil. I had a laptop that, if it wasn't plugged in, it didn't work. And it was, it was a brick. It was so heavy. And my cell phone was like this big. But, you know, we had nothing. But I just kept working it, working it, working it, working it. And I kind of forgot until yesterday when I was really thinking back to the start I forgot how hard the first five years were. I forgot about the, the checks that bounced. I forgot about the people that committed to sponsorships and backed out or the speakers that didn't show up or the hotel that canceled our contract because they got a bigger group in. Who even knew they could do that? And well, really they couldn't, so they had to keep us there. So they put us in, this back when you could smoke in hotels, they put us in the bar in some other room, so it was, oh, it was awful. But lessons learned. So I had the patience to just keep going and keep going and keep going until we hit critical mass. Probably in year five or six, things started really popping. You know, people started joining. We got, you know, regulators, um, lawmakers started to recognize who we were. And things just really worked. Now, 20 years later, you know, we're like a well-oiled machine. We run into bumps. We fix the bumps. We keep going. So I forgot the patience that it took. I forgot how hard it was in the beginning. So I, you know, I kind of, I don't want to say, I don't know, I just kind of took it for granted. So when I started this business, I was like, how hard could it be? Look at that business, it's doing great. Well, I forgot the patience. And this is a part-time on the side gig. It's not a full-time gig, I have a full-time job. So this I do have to do on evenings and weekends, which kind of, makes you have to be more patient because you can't um, you can't do everything you want to do so critical mass will take longer so I want you to realize how important patience is it's the most important thing you can have you've got to be in it for the long view you've, you've got to be able to see that in a year two or three years where you're gonna be and understand that you will get there but it takes patience and although you might have been extremely successful over here, you have to look, if you're starting over here, they don't carry forward. They don't translate. Now, maybe if I still stayed in the senior housing space, some of it might translate, but I don't think so. I think that whenever you start something new, you have to have the hustle and you have to have the patience. You have to have the willingness to keep changing. You know, and I'm one of those people I never feared change. I'm great with change. Um, I've transformed so many things in my life that it just, you know, I'm used to it. But the patience, I forgot about that. 
I forgot about how much you have to have. So if things aren't working out for you right now, if your diet isn't working out for you, if, you can't, if you're having trouble transforming your life, if you have trouble making change, if you're trying to do anything, start your business, get your business going, start a relationship, doesn't matter what you're starting, have patience. Understand, and what is the, I, I get cliches, I never get them right. Good things come to those that wait. I think there's something about that in the Bible. I know, you would have thought I'd pay closer attention during catechism, but I might have missed that piece. Um, good things come to those wait. Anyway, have patience. Stay on track. Believe in yourself. When everybody around you is telling you, eh, you know, or when you have to borrow money from your personal account to put into your business account, yes, look at your husband and say, I'm going to earn it back. I know it. You know, and it's year three or four, you're still like, I just need a couple thousand, but don't worry. I'm going to, we're going to make it back. Just have faith in yourself that you're going to. Never quit believing in you. Have patience and always, always, always believe in your dream. You may have to reform your dream. You may have to tweak your dream. But believe in it. And when somebody tells you, as somebody told me a couple weeks ago, what you do is a dime a dozen, you know, maybe they're right. But trust me, there is nothing new on this planet. There is nothing new. People build on what other people do. What is new is your voice. You know, maybe you're into um, Reiki and people tell you, oh, there's a million Reiki people out there. Maybe there are, but they're not you. You know, maybe you're into um, sign language. Well, there's a lot of people out there that can do sign language, but they're not you. Be you. Be patient. Stick with it and believe in yourself. And it will work out. I know beyond a shadow of doubt that this will work out. I think the universe right now is just reminding me. I don't want to say humbling me because that's pretty hard to do. But reminding me that not everything comes easy. And you got to really want it and you got to really work for it. So have patience. Stick with it. And I hope this is a great motivational Monday for you to know you can do it. Just have patience. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.